kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> no, I'm just joking with you. Hello, this is uh, uh, the Chef Tristone channel, and uh, I'm back after the long-awaited hiatus. I've had a special request from somebody who would like to know how to do uh, more varied cooking. And here I am, about to do some chicken fajitas. So of course we just have some thinly sliced breast meat. Of course, always important, sharp knife. We're gonna be, we're gonna do, we're gonna be a bit lazy here. Just into strips here. Just slices. Doesn't have to be exact. Just going into some tacos. Go. Go nice sliced chicken breast. Now normally you would have this in some sort of you know some sort of seasoning concoction and that will essentially tenderize overnight. Now unfortunately I don't have that kind of time. And who really does have that kind of time today? So that's why I've employed one of uh, the chef's most handy dandy tools. A, a plastic bag. We're going to put our meat inside this nice plastic bag right here. Then we're going to get some lemons. And we're going to squeeze the lemon juice. We're going to squeeze the lemon juice over our chicken here. The citric acid and the lemon juice will help tenderize our meat a little quicker than if we were to just leave it with seasoning and just letting it sit for a bit on its own. Alright, good. All mixed in. Now we're going to add in some of our seasonings. So here what we have for seasonings. So we have just black pepper. And don't be afraid to be generous with fajitas. It can take a lot of seasoning to really bring all those flavors through. Kosher salt, regular salt will do, but I like the I like the way that co the taste of kosher kosher salt. Good old chili pea. Ooh, the chili pea, that's my signature, Mr. White. Oh, dude, fucking hell! Breaking Bad reference. Break, breaking Bad reference. Really getting in there. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta add the chili pea. Onion powder. I'm gonna do something a little out of the ordinary, but I like it, and that is ground coriander. Really helps freshen up the flavor. Close this up. 
Give it a good mixing. Really get it in there. There you go. Now, stash this in the fridge for maybe about, uh, you know, like 15 minutes or so, 30. Uh, to give us enough time to prep our, uh, to prep the rest of everything we, we're going to cook. All right, so here we have our onion and we have our red bell pepper. Just simply slices down the middle like that. Now with bell pepper, easiest way to really do it is you kind of want to shave off these like bulbs in a way. So kind of get at it right there and visually look that you're trimming around the seed core right here. Down, knife in, hand on it, flatten it out right there. These white parts, trim that off. They don't taste too good, quite bitter. Fingers, like a claw almost, three fingers forward. Fingers down with your, with your knuck, with your finger pointed in. And you're essentially going to use your finger as a guide for the knife so you don't cut yourself. I like very nice, thick, well, I like it. I like the thick strips on it. All right, here we are at the stove now. We're about to start frying here. We're almost hot enough. Now the thing with this high temp frying is that you don't want to be using like olive oil or, or anything like that. You want to be using some serious, some very serious high temperature oil. So essentially uh, what I'm going to be using is sunflower oil. Now there's one thing I forgot to do. I forgot to chop some garlic. Just a little bit of garlic. Put in some sunflower oil. Let that get the temp. A good way to tell if your oil is, is up to temp before it starts smoking is if you can smell it. So right now this smells really nice. So we're going to put this chicken in here now.
Ooh, listen to that fizzle. That's what I'm talking about. It's a bit hot. Spread it all out as even as you can. You don't have to worry about it right now because a lot of this is going to shrink down naturally as you pick out the, wa the water in the chicken. Time to get some nice color on there. And now you just let that go for slices this thick, only really take maybe about 10 minutes at most, anywhere between 7 to 10, depending on your quantity. Alright, so now we got this nice and ready to go. I'm going to put this on the side here so it can rest. that back on the heat, turn down it a bit more, and add just a little bit of oil here, now we're going to add the rest. Add a dash of salt. What I'm going to do, and this is a little extra, you don't have to do this at home, but if you want to be just that little bit extra, get an olive oil, turn it over like that, give it just a bit. And use the vinegar. This is flat. If you don't have vinegar, the lemon lemon juice will do well as well. Final bit, and you're going to give it just a little bit of sugar. Let it get mixing around. Take these off. Stash them here for the meantime. With this pan, switch to the small burner.
I'm gonna get our tortilla ready. Maybe about half a pat of butter. corn tortilla here. Sometimes I use flour, but sometimes I'm just lazy and I have corn. I'm like getting that butter just a little, cooking off that butter just a little bit. <laughs> Get that out of view. I'm not going to keep it on there for too much longer. Sour cream. Snap. I just bought this. <laughs> do I gotta open it? Yes, I do. I like the squeeze bottle more. It lasts longer and it's easier to manage. Sour cream. More cheese. Then some of our chicken. Bell peppers and onions. off with just a little bit of cilantro. Carefully, I'm probably overstuffed this, but I really don't care. Fold, and there you go. There you go. Nice, beautiful taco. Mmm. 
What does the funny British man say? That was fucking delicious. Well, thank you for being here. <laughs>